Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now this video, I'm going to show you, is it worth it to actually buy the extra power adapter? I mean, uh, the USB-C to lightning adapter together with the extra USB-C lightning cable for my iPhone 11. Now you have been using an iPhone 11 and this iPhone 11 does not come with this power adapter because the iPhone 11 comes with this 5 watt adapter charging time from what 20% to 100% it's roughly what 2.5 3 hours iPhone Pro Max here it comes with this 18 watt power supply in this video I'm going to perform an experiment I'm going to use this newly bought 18 watt power adapter okay, for my iPhone 11 and I'm going to test how long does it take to fully charge from 3% up to 100% so currently I have a 3% battery you're not supposed to drain it so much you should have charge it when you have what 20% I'm draining it I'm performing the experiment for my subscriber so every 5 minutes I'm going to record the power from 3% to 100% right in order to do that, I must first unbox this uh, power adapter. I've got it from uh, one of the Apple retailer store here in Malaysia. So this is how it looks like. Yeah, the red dot. I mean the green color dot, right? Make sure you buy the USB-C cable because this USB-C. This is lightning, right? You need USB-C because the power output is 18 watt. I choose the one meter version. You may get the two meter version, right? So my best guess is, uh, would it reduce the time by three times? Because the ordinary one is five watt. If I increase the output to be eighteen watt, would I reduce the charging time by three times? So this is the USB C. This is the Lightning cable. It's different, right? You must buy this cable. It does not come with iPhone eleven. So this one goes into here. It fits both direction. Start it. The moment. Switch on. What? Five percent? Oh, it hopes up from just now. It now the following video will need to be uh, fast forward, and uh, every few minutes or so, I'll need to actually copy down the uh, percentage of battery, and then uh, put it into a table. And then I will use numbers to plot those data into a graph, a line graph. I've summarized all data collected down here in terms of minute and in terms of battery percentage from 3% to 100%. And then I use number to plot it into a line graph here where the x-axis is time measured in minute the y-axis is the battery percentage from 3% up to 100% now from this finding my iPhone 11 managed to be charged up from 3% to 100% now what you can see here is the charging rate is very fast indeed for the first 50 minutes first 50 minutes the charging rate is really fast I would say and it's saturated at 80% and then it will increase again non-linearly at this time around the charging rate decreases three times compared to initially from T0 to T50 minutes so if in the event for your case we normally get a notification when it is 20% they will ask you to start charge your iPhone or iPhone 11 for my case if here is my reference point 
if I want to charge it up to 80%, from 20% to 80%, it, it takes me, what, it will most probably takes you 40 minutes to get this new notification, say, what, battery sufficiently charged message. Because once it reach 80%, it will start to slow down in terms of uh, charging rate for at least 10 minutes or 15 minutes before it starts to increase again. The total duration from 20% to 100, it will be 107 minutes. It's less than two hours. It will take 40 minutes from 20% to 80%. And 67 minutes from 80% to 100% battery charge. So you can see it's 67 against 40. So it's very slow once after 80%. Now come back to the question, does it worth it? Now it's not up for me to judge whether does it worth it to buy the, the fast charger for your iPhone 11. I think the question comes back to you. You need to spend extra 240 ringgit around, 240, 250 ringgit. You need to spend additional 250 ringgit every time you save at least an hour to charge your mobile phone from 20% up to 100%. Yeah. Does it worth it? For my case, I'm quite satisfied with this result because. I do not need to wait for another hour to charge my phone because the last time when I tried to use my 5 watt charger if I remember correctly I think it took me roughly 3 hours this is what 2 hours not even close to 2 hours I can get my phone charged up already so whether should you buy a fast charger it's up to you you will be able to save at least an hour Per time you charge. If you are a heavy user, for me I'm a light user, I hardly need to charge my phone after a day. And you are always in the run. And always you have roughly an hour. Then I think you should get a fast charger because it helps you to increase your battery power from 20% to 80% in less than an hour. So why not? But if you are in a budget, and you can wait for three hours or more than two hours to get your battery fully charged, then yeah, you do not need the fast charger. Well, I hope my video helped you to understand how fast is this fast charger. And I hope by after watching my video, you have an idea whether should you spend the additional 250 ringgit. With that, first time watching a video, kindly subscribe to my channel press on the thumb up button means you like it i mean i spent standing there two hours to make this video i appreciate a thumbs up stay tuned for my next video bye